Yeah. We tried pulling that log out of there yesterday, just a straight pull on it, and it don't have enough traction to get it uh, moving. We got to move a little bit, but we just don't have enough traction for that big log to to uh, get it moving. So we're going to try something a little different here now, getting a little rig up and put a block on that uh, log and wrap the main strap around it and then bring it over here to a couple of trees and put a couple blocks on it, kind of double block it, see if we can't get some uh, mechanical advantage. Where you been? Huh? Where you been, Hot Chopper? Where you been, Sassy? Yeah, good girl. Oh, good girl. Look like he's got a triple block going. He's got got a block over here on this tree, a block back on the log, and a block on that second tree that'll hook over to the bobcat. Right. This is what we got so far. I've got my haywire wrapped around the log there. I've got it coming out the bottom so it pulls up on the log and the log rides on the cable. If we put it up around the side, it might roll the log and it would damage that sign back there um, and it might roll it into a bad spot. Sometimes you want to roll a log to get it up out of a hole or something and you can do that, but uh, I don't want to do that this time. Uh, anyway, got my uh, haywire on there and that goes up over there to a tree and we've got a block on that tree over there, runs through that block and then back down here and I got a choker on that log set up again with it down the bottom of the log and a block on the end of that choker with my line going back through it and then going back over here to the, the other tree with a uh, line going around it and then running down to the bobcat so we'll pull on it with the bobcat there don't act like it's going to want to pull that way either. Now the bobcat's tires are spinning in the snow and the ice, so oh, it's not working very well there right now. We've got to figure something else out. we got to get something to get it started moving.
Okay, that one's all loaded up. We'll take it home and dump it off, and we can come back and get the bobcat. We've got our mess all cleaned up here. Get all the tools put away. Or the edge of the road drops off there anywhere from six to ten feet deep. And that's what I did the other day with the bobcat as I come in and cleaned up all of the snow on the road all the way out from the highway this way. There wasn't much, there's only about eight inches of snow or so. Anyway, I pushed it all down that ditch to fill it up to make it easier to work with. It wasn't perfect because the snow was too cold and dry and didn't pack uh, the way I'd have liked it to. But it certainly did the job. It was certainly a lot easier than trying to fight in that ditch. And when the snow is gone, nobody will ever know we were there. Yep. Not five feet. <laughs> well, there we go. There's the size of the log. Yep. That's uh, 18 feet long. So that'll be a nice chunk of wood. <laughs>